Welcome as we introduce the Australia Ensemble's 2022 season, Time is a River. I acknowledge the Bidjigal and Gadigal people of the Eora Nation, the traditional custodians of the land where UNSW sits, and pay my respects to Elders past and present, and to all First Nations people joining us. I am Sonia Maddock, Head of Culture at UNSW, and my team in the Music Performance Unit is proud to introduce the Australia Ensemble's 2022 season. In the Ensemble's Sir John Clancy Auditorium home, the Six Concert Series is a very intimate and personal chamber experience. There's free parking on campus for all evening performances, and the Subscription Concert Series tickets are very affordable. But most of all, it is the very best of chamber music from the very best chamber musicians. The Australia Ensemble is an example of the whole being greater than the sum of its parts. The individual brilliance of the musicians multiplied in combination in this very special chamber group. Our six core artists, David Griffiths on clarinet, Ian Munro on piano, violinists Dean Olding and Dimity Hall, Irena Morozova on viola and Julian Smiles on cello will again be joined by flautist Geoffrey Collins as emeritus artist throughout the season. You may recognise our guest artists who are firmly part of our Australia Ensemble community, such as horn player Robert Johnson, who has been playing with the ensemble for over 40 years. Others, such as violinist Loretta Delbridge, are relative newcomers to the fold. And we welcome, for the first time, cellist Timothy Nankervis and David Elton on trumpet. Our programs will be presented without interval and with the same quality and balance of music that the Australia Ensemble audience has become accustomed to since its foundation in 1980. Our season is entitled Time is a River and we very much hope that the rapids and turmoil of the past two years are well behind us and we can flow unencumbered through the season's musical treasures. Come and explore with us. It's great to be back in the Clancy Auditorium. It's been without any activity, without any music for months and months now. And I can't wait for the audience to return to this wonderful space to enjoy the glorious chamber music of the Australia Ensemble in 2022. Time is a River is a clarinet quintet by Australian composer Graham Kerner. And we thought this was a beautiful metaphor for music itself and also a fitting title for the season. So music is a time art and it unfolds over time. And like a river, sometimes it feels like it can gush forward with great energy and at other times it's very still and reflective. And I feel that music does exactly these same things. So the shape of the season is really defined to an extent by the season's theme around aspects of the temporal. So we have a program celebrating the music of the 20s across four different decades from the 1720s through to the 2020s. We have a program around the themes of cycles and life cycles of life, death and renewal. We have another program around celebrating significant birthdays of composers as well. So these themes run the way all the way through the season. The thing I'm looking forward to the most for 2022 is just the mere fact that we are able to return to the stage to perform as artists, to be able to express ourselves and interact with the audience, which is the essential part of live music. I'm sure the audience has been missing hearing us as well, and uh, everyone is looking forward to returning to the wonderful Clancy Auditorium. It's a two-way street. You have to have somebody to play for. So that's what I'm looking forward to most, is having that chemistry between our very loyal audience and uh, my wonderful colleagues of course, to come back into this beautiful venue and to be playing live for a live audience. We haven't done it for so long. And in this beautiful acoustic, I think it's just going to be so warm and exciting. I'm really looking forward to it. I've only had four concerts in the last two years. And even though uh, last year felt a bit like a good sabbatical, this year has been huh, really tiresome. And it's, it's been a huge void in my life. So my top five highlights, first one is the Mozart E-flat string quintet. It's Mozart's last piece of chamber music. 
and it reflects elements of um, the magic flute as well as some more kind of grave and uh, more serious moments as well. Any work with two violas is very scrumptious and chocolatey and the viola was one of Mozart's favourite instruments so I can understand why he did that. I can just imagine Mozart and Haydn playing the two viola parts in a lot of rehearsals. The second piece is the Brahms C minor piano quartet which is written in the middle of Brahms's life and it reflects the immense personal turmoil that Brahms was going through. It's very dark, it's full of passion. He said to his publisher when he gave the publisher the music that the cover should have a picture of a man with a gun against his head. Um, and it's often speculated that, that the origins of these dark brooding moods are his unrequited or unpractical love that he had for Clara Schumann. Number three is Mendelssohn's first string quartet which is a piece of immense youthful vigour and uh, transcendent beauty. My fourth pick is The Romance for Violin and Piano by Amy Beach. Amy Beach is a significant figure because she was the first female composer from the United States to truly establish herself as an international composer of renown. I have a secret like for the César Franck uh, piano quintet. I think it's a marvellous piece. I have a soft spot for César Franck. I just admire his slithering, sliding harmonies and it's a unique sound world. It's um, that French version of Wagner, if you like. We've actually got the world premiere, finally, third time lucky, of Holly Harrison's Slipstream. Holly's pieces are always so engaging, very lively, lots of rhythmic interplay. She has a lot of influences from jazz and blues and all other kinds of music, which she very cleverly interweaves with her to make her own style. So that's going to be an exciting premiere that I'm looking forward to. The wonderful thing about live music is that it is as a live concept going to be different every time. So no, no two performances will be the same. And in that way, the audience is, is participants in a moment in time that will never be repeated. I'm looking forward to the return of live music. That will be such a celebration after this period of lockdown. And I'm really looking forward to hearing the musicians return with their energy, their immense experience, their passion for chamber music the immense understanding that the musicians have of the repertoire and also of each other is a truly special experience with the Australia Ensemble. Join us. Join us. Join us. Join us. Join us. Join us. Join us for this truly glorious season of chamber music by subscribing today.